they've made a video and sorry. Chickens had chicks. Before the chicks hatched, I was a bit worried which they kind of maybe bully or hurt the chicks, but I'm glad they love the chicks. They seem to love them and they don't like them at all, which is good. And the mammies are very good mammies because when, um, just a few minutes ago we were feeding them sweet corn and the mammy was going to eat a uh, a piece of corn but then Millie came over so she put down the piece of corn for Millie to eat but Millie didn't even eat the piece of corn. It's very stunning turn around because it's too sunny. It's very hot um, and sunny be, uh, today and the last few days and it's been great weather for the chicks because it's good that chicks were born in a nice sunny it's nice and warm for them so they are about three weeks old they were born er, between the 20 the 23rd and 25th of june so since it's been about three weeks and next week around this day next week they'll be four weeks old. They were born on a Friday or, yeah, Friday. They were born on a Friday. And when I went into school the Monday, I was very happy to tell my teacher and my class that my chickens had two nice chicks. And I'm very sorry for not making a video of them uh, earlier um, when they were a bit younger because they don't look as they don't they don't look as fluffy and little they've they grow very fast they've grown very quickly in the last three weeks but I do have some pictures of the chicks when they were much younger to show you here So, they're very cute, Millie and Bluebell, but bl uh, blue for short, sometimes. And we're hoping that they're both females. They look like females. And, um, we, did you know that actually Darla is Bluebell's real mammy, technically? because what we actually did, we stole one of Darla's eggs and when um, she was sitting on the eggs, uh, incubating the eggs, we uh, gave her one of Darla's eggs to sit on to look after. So really, um, she's looking after Darla's true baby because Darla is the only grey chicken we have and it will be nice to have another grey chicken. And um, they haven't been laying as many eggs since the babies because actually we think that the other two, they aren't as good of a layer as her because um, the hen won't stop, um, will, I mean, 
and won't start laying her eggs again once she has stopped looking after the chicks, which is when they're about six to eight weeks old. Imagine if uh, people left their babies to their own devices after eight weeks. <laughs> babies don't even know how to crawl or eat or drink probably at that stage. But it just shows how quickly that they grow and how resilient they are because um, after the, the first few days after they hatched, it was very windy uh, a few, when they when they hatched the weather was kind of windy and so when they came out for the first time because after f the first few days of their hatching they stay in the coop but when they came out it was very windy and this is when they're much smaller and they're being blowing around the coop it was very fun but I'm very happy that these two chicks are doing so well. It, and they love to eat the same stuff that the adults love to eat. They're just like the, the adults. We don't know if Millie is going to be a white chicken like her daddy or a brown chicken like the mammy because as you can see, her feathers are kind of whitish, but when she was a bit younger, she did have a bit of yellow. And of course, male chickens don't lay eggs. Of course, so. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We just want to see your chicks. The mammy is very protective of her baby. If you didn't know, um, Delilah the mammy actually has two different colored eyes. She has one blue eye and one brown eye. Heterochromia. And um, I wonder if her either of the babies are going to have that too, because it's really cool. It's a really cool condition. And it doesn't do anything. It doesn't affect them in any way. It just makes their eyes two different colors which is really cool. So, that's it for this week's video. We can end this video on a nice, happy note of these two little chicks eating pieces of corn. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed because I think some people think that subscribing costs money. It's free! Like some not to be mean, but if you don't know much about YouTube, just to let you know, subscribing is free, you don't have to pay. It's just kind of supporting them because subscribing is sometimes used as kind of a way to subscribe to pay money, but subscribing is free. So, um, because I have, I think I lost a few subscribers, but I've, we're at 67 subscribers. Almost at 70, imagine, that's going to be great. Um, so I hope to see you next week. Thank you, Thank you to two very nice ladies named Molly and Monica who um, sent me these three lovely wooden animals, a, a wooden camel, cow, and I think a donkey. And they were hand handmade and they used to be uh, Molly and Monica used to own them but they thought they that they would look nice on my desk the one that I make all my indoor videos on like my creature features and what's the difference and um, next video will be Animal Lifespans Part 2 that has been a long time that was before I went to Greece it's been my last video was uh, over a month ago so um i'll see you next time if you enjoyed like and subscribe and i'll see you next week goodbye <laughs>